Hello. <laughs> um, I'm speaking on behalf of all four of us, all sitting in front of you, so you can see. Um, we're doing a little um, talk um, to do with Halloween, to, to sort of uh, mark the time of Halloween at the end of October, at this time of year. Um, and we know, obviously we know, and I think you probably know too, that each of the zodiac signs has got a positive side, um, but it also got a negative or a nasty side. <laughs> and so, because this is a just a, a bit of enjoyment and a bit of fun, we're going to actually focus on the nasty side or the negative side of each sign. Yeah, <laughs> let's start with Aries. Aries. Yeah, but <laughs> I think this is the my declaration because I have to say this topic really, really made me think about a long time because, like Sue. I think every sign is perfect, every sign is beautiful. Nasty <laughs> sign, as long as you are comfortable with yourself, don't try to change it, because you want to say. Yeah, as long as you are comfortable. But well, how, about, how uh, about other people's feeling? They feel you are nasty? That's alright. Um, they then feel that. So, what I'm talking about is Aries. This Aries mm. is, is indeed like this. I am me, I'm doing what I'm doing, and you are not comfortable? Uh, Go to do your own things, <laughs> or, or just uh, 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 you know, uh, move away and uh, never come back. The, the I try to avoid the rude words. <laughs> the hell with everybody else. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what I think, if I want to put the word on nasty side of Aries, well, I think that you know, selfish. Mm. They are yeah. falling on themselves, mm. and they think they are right, which no problem. Which no problem, but maybe the other people will think, "Have you ever think about me?" <laughs> yes, I think about me, not you. <laughs> I think that's the nasty side of Aries. What do you yeah, think? Yeah. Nasty side of Aries, yeah. Um, they want to be number one, and they're very competitive, and they'll push you out of the way to get there. <laughs> yeah, right. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Everyone's so impatient. And everyone's slow. You know? Everyone's yeah, 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 slow. yeah, of course. Get out of the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Super impatient. <laughs> no, dear. Yeah. Me first. Me first. Me first. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But as I say, so if you can't keep up with me, then you know. Yeah. You fall behind me. Well, yeah, yes. Absolutely. Yeah, that could be not set from other people's view, but for them. I'm comfortable with myself. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, Let's yeah, move yeah. on Taurus. Oh, and uh, one more oh, thing on yeah. Aries. They can be like little children sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I bring all their toys wow. out of the pram. <laughs> Taurus, go on. Oh, Taurus, okay. Oh, Taurus. Well, what I think about Taurus, um, they are very lovely, a lovely person. They're lovely. But. But. <laughs> no, 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 literally mean action slow. I didn't have any other mean my my, my my when in Gemini size comes out. No. <laughs> but, but it is is they are they are, they, are, they actually take things so slow. Mm. They take things so slow so like uh, if you are if you are around them or you work with them mm. or you are in a relationship with them mm. You have gotta be patient. So what you're saying is, Taurus is the person walking really slowly down the oh, pavement. The Aries is the person no. behind them going, speed up, speed up. Yeah. The Taurus is like, yeah, I'm hmm. way. Yeah. The person driving really fast, yeah. really slow in the fast lane. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sunday afternoon drivers. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Why are you so busy? Yeah. Sunday afternoon. Weather is nice. Let's do it slowly. Mm. But another yeah. thing, I do find it. I think maybe it's common for the older fixed sign of Taurus is they don't let go of things. Mm. Once they decide oh. something, once they hold something, uh. they are not easily let go. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so... Stubborn, when... that's not the word! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> but once they hold something, no, this is a mind. But I also feel that's a tricky yeah. side of them, because I see a lot of the Taurus, they either declare, I don't own this, so nothing to do with me. Mm. Mm. So ownership and uh, mm. to hold something, Usually, it could be kind of a nasty for them. Mm. Yes. And what does a Taurus do when they're upset? Ooh. Um, sits on it. <laughs> sits on it. <laughs> sits on it. And then goes bang! <laughs> do you don't want to be in the firing line if Taurus yeah. loses it. Yeah. So, so, when they give you a warning, that's already really, really bad. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you have to kind yeah, of they get hold sensitive it. to what's going on. Oh, it's like, yeah. it's like it's the old proverbial red flag yeah, yeah, for a yeah. bull, isn't it? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. standing at the end of the field, yeah. just chewing a bit of grass, yeah. Yeah. and then you wave your red rag at it, it might yeah. not see it. Once it sees it and it starts <laughs> coming towards you, you better move, because yeah. nothing's going to stop it. That There's no way yeah. to run. There's no way to run. You might see Taurus as the cow in the field chewing the cud all day long, 
all day long, all day long. They're never getting bored. They love it all day long, mm. all day long. Yeah, like you say. Do you know more people die? Balls. More people die from being killed by cows than by sharks every year. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I really like this. I wouldn't like get that. into a field yeah. with a, a field with the, no. of cows, especially if there's a bull in the field with them. Yeah, no way. yeah but, but I think they could be the oh, also. You know, that's nice side of them. They slowly care for mm. and they be very passionate and they hold it. They mm. hold it back and then they are yeah. not really True. fast react to annoy yeah. other people, but. Just don't really annoy them and not really try their bottom line. Yes. Mm -hmm. really. And I was yeah. thinking about what you said about uh, Aries throwing the toys out the pram. Taurus never lets go of their toys. <laughs> oh no, toys! <laughs> don't throw them out the pram. The pram. Is mine. <laughs> if it gets thrown out the pram, they scream till they get the toy back. <laughs> yeah. This applies to small children too, Taurus. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Absolutely. Oh, let's move on, Gemini. Gemini. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Nasty side. What is nasty? There's a, it, lot, there's it, a lot of Gemini <laughs> energy on this panel, actually. Yeah, yeah, Rising, yeah. And even there. moon, sun. Yeah, yeah. And there is moon too. Even yeah, yeah, our, yeah. Even our, our yeah. people record this. So, what, what if we talking about... Well, don't we all talk all over each other and interrupt yeah, each other? Yeah, interrupt each other all the time. This is negative Gemini. Oh, 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 we, we all agree because we all have a Gemini here. <laughs> I, think, I think if we want to say nasty stuff of Gemini, there's two... Many. <laughs> oh. No, there's two. There's two. two only two. Two, two many. Besides. Two many. Yeah. 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 One. One thing I think they have twister, so they can really like a bend things or change things. Mm. They are very, they are very fast thinking, and that they. So yeah. once you think about this or that, if that's not good for them, mm. yeah. and they can twist it. Mm. I, have, I, have, I have three words for the nasty side of Gemini. Short attention span. That was that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. uh, it's very true. It's like, it's like yeah. you know, sometimes yeah. in books you'll see that Gemini is described as the butterfly sign. Oh. Yeah. It changes its mind all the time. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. It's not, how do you know where you really are, right? Yeah. It's not Gemini. that Geminis are out and out liars. If they tell you one thing one day, another thing the next day, they've just changed their mind. Although they are quite good liars yeah. as well. Can What's be. wrong with that? <laughs> What's wrong with that? Every day. All the world change. What's wrong with changing my mind? I never, ever change my mind. I never. Really? Each day I have the same opinion. I stay very constant. It's, it's, it's the T-shirt, isn't it? It's like it's my my opinions may change, but I'll always be right. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Although yeah. that's kind of an Aries Gemini mix, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, that yeah, could yeah. be. Gemini like aren't particularly egotistical, I have to say. Mm. But the, mm. the nasty side may be a little bit the inconsistency and the getting bored. Rather, it's slightly fickle sometimes. Yeah. 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 Telling let, nice yeah. stories let, about yeah. let, let you Sticking entertain Sticking them up me. on Facebook without permission. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. yeah. The I gossip. Think... The gossip. Oh. The gossip. Uh, I forget yeah. mention this. <laughs> I, I have a Gemini friend, and I don't see her very often because she lives in a different country. When I see her, she first thing she said to me is, What's the gossip? What's the <laughs> I kid you not, this is very true. Yeah, yeah. What do you, j just on a point generally, what do you think is the most struck? Because we're talking about the signs in general. Mm. Do you think these uh, these nasty sides apply more to the sun, the moon, or the ascendant? Like somebody who's rising hello. sign, or, you know, what, what do you think? Is that. Um... Will you know the difference? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think the rising sign, which is what I have, the Gemini is more out on the surface. It's kind of more yeah. what you see is what you get. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah and my, my, my moon in Gemini is more like a little bit, of, you can't see it here, but you can see it in my bedroom, or you can see it in my living <laughs> yeah, room, yeah, yeah, yeah. in I my think, place. Yeah. And yeah. I have the sun in Gemini, and probably one of the causes that, that is pretty obvious for me is curiosity. I can't bear not knowing. Yeah. Oh. I actually know. We, we have here a, a, a lovely sleepers. array of a sun, moon, and ascendant. <laughs> <Gemini, so. laughs> so that's the last thing say, but it, it is quite interesting to talk about it, but don't take it seriously because I think mm -hmm. every sign have a little bit nasty. You enjoy it, you, do, you use it to achieve yeah. what you want. Mm -hmm. but and yeah, when, when, when you don't really enjoy it, okay, think about it. Mm. Yeah. yeah, why yeah. upset you? Yeah. Okay, then next we are going to talk about the Cancer, Leo and Virgo. So, Cancer, that's the fourth sign of the Zodiac and this is our fourth little segment on our very affectionate, hopefully, uh, <laughs> reviews of the nasty sides of each sign. So we'll kind of let rip a little bit on Cancer. So, Cancer is famously soft on the inside and hard on the outside, okay? 
and don't expect them to tell you straight up how they feel, what they're thinking or feeling, unless you've known them for at least 25 years. Famously <laughs> crabby and moody, their bad moods can last for what feels like forever. Hypersensitive, insecure, defensive. Anybody want to defend that? <laughs> no, as the kids are rising, I have nothing to comment. <laughs> oh. And sometimes they're so afraid of failing that they'd rather do nothing at all. Yeah, I thought, what was the thing, there was a Facebook meme a while ago about the first people to die in a horror film, and I think yes. one of the ones was the cancer <laughs> they hide under the bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they won't confront, will they? Yeah. You know, they'd True. rather hide away. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, It's too sensitive and too scary. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it is away. true, it is yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of yeah. my dream and I feel yeah. scared, I will hide. Even yesterday, yeah. I have a weird dream, yeah. and it's like a... I'm chasing by something, but I hide in the in the somewhere I couldn't move. I was like, "What's wrong?" <laughs> now it's cancer rising. He's talking yeah. about. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing about cancer as well: you might have to work hard to gain their trust and be part of their inner circle. Once you're there. They'll never let you go, <laughs> and they'll be really clingy. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing, um, you know, the, the emotional thing about cancer that we've just been mm. talking about can be so emotional. Yeah. It's become so sensitive. Yeah. It's a painful place to be, mm. and it's like, but they can actually turn that around and actually blame somebody else. Yeah, yeah there's yeah, a yeah, yeah. sometimes nice sensitivity. It's not me. It's you. The negative <laughs> side of cancer. This is from an Aries point of view. We all know that Aries are selfish and have tantrums. <laughs> <laughs> The, cancer, the negative side of cancer can sometimes be a sort of emotional entitlement, which mm -hmm. obviously as an Aries son, I sometimes lose patience with because yeah. I like, just deal with it, you know. Yeah. Right. But the, the, the Cancerians sometimes can do exactly yeah. that because they yeah. feel so sensitive. Yeah. It's like, tell me what's wrong. Mm -hmm. The incredible sulk. <laughs> the incredible sulk. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah. And when they're, when they're really upset, they'll be at home and they'll be crying over oh, yeah. some sentimental movie with the tissues oh, and yes. in their comfort yeah. food. Sitting in the bathrooms. There's something Sweet and cute. About oh, it. stuffing themselves cancer. with food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comfort food. Nourishment. Comfort food. Comfort food. Comfort food. Yeah, oh, cool the, mum. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> doesn't cancer uh, rule the belly? Is that yeah. right, traditionally? Yeah. 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 So yeah. their yeah. belly needs to feel. Body, yeah. yeah, they need to look after their bellies. Yeah. So they do that quite often. Yeah. Taurus does that too, but yeah. in a different kind of way. Yeah, different kind of way. So, cancer. What about Leo? Leo. Okay, Leo. So, polish your cutlery your best china, because Leo's coming to dinner. They'll sit on your best couch, your best cushion. They want to be let, wanted to be looked after, weighted on hand and foot. If you want someone to clear up and help you, be a servant for the night, invite a Virgo, not a Leo. Leo will go away and they'll, if everything's not up to scratch, they'll tell everybody. I don't know, what do you think? Have you ever Leo around for dinner lately, anybody? Ooh, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. And appreciate your effort. Yeah, well, actually, yeah. <laughs> appreciating your effort is about as much as you get. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So I don't know. I think uh, what's what do you think is the is the is the is the nasty side of Leo? Because we know that Leos can be generous. They can light up a mm -hmm. room. They can be the soul of the party. So the nasty side of Leo could be like a lack of appreciation of effort on uh, other people. A lack of yeah, yeah, and the, the, the famous generosity. It's usually because they want something off you because they want to be appreciated uh, uh, and yeah. you know and when it's to, to be popular yeah. right uh, uh, the nasty side yeah. nasty uh, side uh, they're not all like that then the nasty side Leo will come out if you fail to give them a compliment oh. so if you if you make the the social faux pas of minimizing a Leo's accomplishment or not laughing enough at one of their jokes <laughs> at the wrong time, so they feel socially embarrassed. Oh my goodness. That's it, you're out of the good graces, you're in the cold forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. So Leo always yeah. wants to find something that they can kind of adapt to mm. themselves. Mm -hmm. So um, I have a Leo um, friend mm -hmm. who um, likes to keep his, it's a man, he likes to keep mm -hmm. his ears open about what might be going on. He's mm. noticing what's happening in, mm -hmm. a, in, a, in a group situation or, mm -hmm. or crowd situation. And if he thinks, if you tell him anything about what you're doing that looks like it's going to be successful, he's all ears. <laughs> and he steal the idea. He would never say that. No. But that's uh -huh. what's happening inside, in the nasty side of Leo. Mm -hmm. Or, 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 it comes out a few years after and they say, that was my idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said that yeah, first. That's oh, that's so true. Yeah. The, 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 she steal my idea. The, yeah. the, the, the worst element of Leo is like, it's all about me. 
Yeah. And it's yeah. Like, yeah. 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 The center of everything, because of course they're all by the sun, and the sun is obviously yeah. the center of the solar system. They think they're the sun. They think that they create all the energy they can do, and nasty, and nasty, yeah. the, the negative side of Leo. They think they can be the energy that binds and holds yeah. everything together, they, revolves they, around them. They created the world. Yeah. They yeah. created <laughs> astrology. Yeah. <laughs> they created the sun, moon, <laughs> and everything. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I mean, Absolutely. that respect, they can be ever so arrogant. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, pompous, about it. pride, pompous, pompous. prideful, mm. snobbish. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh. I think I think they hate. I us think no Leo is away. That's it. That's it. That's it. Don't take it. I'm married to Leo. Leo. Love you. You are wonderful. You are amazing. You're, 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 you're just great. <laughs> yeah. I'm married to a Leo. You're the best Leo that's ever been born. You're wonderful, and they're very creative as well. Creative expression. So never criticise. Leo's creativity. <laughs> Anything that a Leo creates, never criticise it, please. Wonderful. Unless you want, if you want to stay in their good books, be friends with them. Yep. <laughs> right. Okay. So Virgo, Virgo, the Virgin, Virgo, the the perfectionists. Mm. They were born to bring order out of chaos, which is why they are the total control freaks of the zodiac. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> They can be petty, overcritical. They can be nagging. Um, they 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 they're realist to the point where they can take the the joy out of people's visions and ideals. Perhaps sometimes. But remember, this is NASA. We love Virgos too. Yeah. Oh, is anybody anybody want to stick up for Virgo? No, not really. Um, <laughs> just joke. But, yeah, I I I I see all of that. I yeah. I have uh, very close family members mm. with lots of Virgo mm. and the uh, the critical and the attention to sometimes petty details mm. to the point of losing sight of uh, just people enjoying themselves yeah, yeah, really. yeah. That, can, yeah. that, that, that can be yeah. quite that yeah. can be a bit of a downer and the, the, a little bit OCD in some ways mm. oh, in some different way mm. I like I like yeah. a one I, in my family we have a lot of Virgo really and that is a bit very interesting they say as you are an astrologer why are you guys always talking about Virgo OCD look look my house is totally <laughs> disaster yeah, messy. messy and this and that I would say yes, but uh, somehow in some way there's a tidiness or something you want to put in the right order yeah. and something. Yeah. So so then they complain about something who who in the in the in the community parking doesn't really park the right way or this and that. Well, it's like it's like you can have a hoarder, uh. but every single pile is in the place that they left it. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Their, their house can mm. be a tip, but God forbid you move that bit of paper from pile A to pile B because yeah. that would be a disaster. Do you yep. know what I mean? And if you go around to Virgo's house and you go upstairs to the bathroom, have a look. if you want, if you're a bit nosy like a Gemini and you want to have a sneak around, and have a look. <laughs> even the Virgo house will be so tidy, even if it's a tidy Virgo house. Uh -huh. Open the cupboard, expect everything to fall down on top of you. So everything hidden away will be really messy, usually. Yeah, under the carpet. And for an earth thing. sign. Yeah. So the other thing I wanted to say about Virgo is that not only can they be super critical of mm. others, you know, without apparently seeming as if mm. they do or not, mm -hmm. they don't seem to mind whether they're actually damaging other people. Mm. But it's because they're very super critical of themselves. Yeah, it's more than oh, yeah. Like they oh, that they can beat themselves yeah. up a great totally. deal. Um, but actually, often that ha that happens because they don't like to sort of show that side of themselves. Yeah. They're not always that conscious of it, yeah. actually. So then mm -hmm. they project that yeah. onto somebody else. Yes. yes. Yeah. Well, funny yeah. enough, like I'm feeling bad about me, but actually it's your fault. Yeah, totally. Mm. We've just talked about Leo, and Leo mm. will tell you, nasty Leo will tell you he's brilliant or she's brilliant at mm -hmm. everything, even if they're mm -hmm. not. Come, uh, Virgo, if it's lacking confidence, will oh, think yeah. they're rubbish at everything, but actually they're probably quite excellent at most things yeah. if they really yeah. work at it. Yes. yes. And they're quite blame hypochondriac, prudish for an earth sign, maybe. Mm -hmm. Don't ask yeah. them if. Oh God! Oh God. Yeah, banging on about like little Hygiene. little ailments and yeah. like you know, just, like literally just banging on about. Nobody wants to know about your veruca for ten minutes. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, how on earth did you know that? Oh, Virgo, we love you and yeah. we need you. What would yeah. we do we without Virgo? We do without you. Yeah. I've got some Virgo in me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>